hey what is up hello welcome to or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is emma and if you're not new here then hey like what's up this is a bit of a nostalgic video i guess if you're a kiwi kid if you got that pun thank you very much if you're a kiwi kid then you will relate to some of the things that i'm about to say but if not then sit back uh relax and enjoy listening to what it is what what it was like to be a primary school kid in New Zealand. I'm speaking from my experience because obviously that's all I've got to work with but I was in primary school from 2007 to 2012 so primary school in New Zealand is like six years if you're not from New Zealand and didn't know that so it's like your first six years of school. Basically I've got a nice hearty list here that I came up with alongside my friends <coughs> at school pretty much oh there's like a little bug flying around. Yes I will have missed some things off here because I keep on thinking of things I'm like oh my gosh yes gotta add that. I'm just gonna list these things off and if I feel like they need an explanation I'll give you an explanation otherwise we're just gonna roll with it. First things first, family trips to the warehouse. I don't know about everyone else, but I always make a beeline for like the toys aisle. Very rarely actually got something from the kids aisle, but it was always a fun adventure. Scaving samples at the supermarket. Like you know how they have like the merchandisers that come in with like, I don't know, like I don't know, chocolate or whatever. You go up and like take all the free samples. Jump jam on cold winter mornings if you don't know what jump jam is. I wish I could like put the music in and stuff and do the actions for you, but I would get copyrighted. It's like Zumba, but for kids. Wearing gumboots or bare feet to school because nobody cared. Those were the days. Begging your parents for a Bubble O' Bill ice cream. If you don't know what they are, I'll put a photo in here so that you can see. Popping into the dairy for a dollar lolly bag on the way home. I don't know, I feel like not everyone obviously will be able to relate to it. I feel like not everyone walked home from school as a child, but that was one of the little treats. Scholastic book orders. Yummy stickers. Basically, like, if you got, like, an apple, you got a sticker on the apple, like you do with normal apples, and you'd put it on, like, a sheet, and then when you fill the sheet out, you take it into school, and the school gets, like, rewards for it. I wasn't really good at that, because I don't really eat fruit, but that was cool. Heart Foundation Skip-a-thon. I remember, um, back in the day, I had, like, a thousand skips during the Skip-a-thon. I probably wouldn't even be able to do, like, 20 skips right now, but that's fine. Cross-country practice in the cold. Half club days or ag days. I feel like if you're like a rural school, you would catch that vibe. If you're from like the city, probably not so much. Monkey bars at the playground and like, oh my gosh, flips over the bar on the slide. And obviously not, not every school would have this, but like how you have like the slide in the playground and there'd be like a bar above it. And I used to like do like a, like a flip, like a gymnastic flip over the bar and then like slide down the slide. Oh, so good. Master and poison, like the netball games, like poison ivy. Fruit roll-ups. I feel like those were so good and so bad at the same time. Hot dog days. My friend actually brought this up today when we were talking about this. How you'd like order your hot dog and then come to the class and they'd have like either tomato sauce or mustard on them. And you have to be like, I was the one who ordered it with blah blah blah. And I was always the one that's like, yeah, I ordered it with no toppings because I'm boring and I don't like stuff like that. Mathletics. Oh, those are the days when you come in and you'd be like, yeah, last night I earned like my bronze certificate on mathletics and then some other kid would come in and be like, yeah, well I got my gold and then you'd just be knocked down a few pegs. Calendars that you draw yourself, but like you draw the picture and then you put like your name and your age and you like have to buy the calendar. Mini clip. Club penguin memberships because it was cool to have a cooler like, glue. Wheatbix collectible cards like in the box, like what they're doing at the moment with the stat attacks. Bluebird used to do the same thing. I remember with like, the super rugby cards and they had like the hurricanes and the blues and stuff and the chiefs all had like their own cards and you like collect them all. Smiggle. Oh my gosh, Smiggle was like such a like, s like I don't even know how to explain it. Like kids, I don't know if this is just my school or what, but kids would like accuse other people of stealing their Smiggle stuff. It was like the Smiggle hierarchy. Like the more rubbers you had, the cooler you were. <laughs> like what? Yellies? Like the shoes with the little wheels on them, on the heels? Yeah. I asked it over a few times on those. Happy Meals, the six pack chicken nugget Happy Meal with apple and black currant juice and sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> oh, so good. Handball and also with that, like you know those little bouncy balls that you used to get that were like, I don't know, they had super rugby ones for like a wee while there, but they'd be like by the counter at Rebel Sports. I remember I used to go and like bounce them and then like I get told off because I'd bounce it and it would like yeet off over like wherever like i don't even know where and like term one and term four having like compulsory like wearing a school hat like the little bucket hats at the brim and i remember my mom had like a string on it and then some little kid just came along and ripped my string off and i had like a fat rage at him <laughs> sitting outside the office when you got detention like having to sit like outside the staff room acorns and the amount of fights that they used to cause bull rush octopus and stuck in the mud all kind of the same thing but like i feel like that was like 
the go-to game. In summertime, free swimming at lunch times, when they'd open up the pool and people could just go in and like free swim. Looking back on it now, I'm like, what was the point of that? But like, I guess it was fun at the time. Having like the differentiation between junior and senior playgrounds and there was like, there was no crossover. Like you were a junior or you were a senior and you had your own playgrounds and you best believe that you stuck to your own playgrounds. Just like assemblies in general and people would actually like get awards, certificates and stuff and parents would still come and watch you get awards. <laughs> Bible in schools. I kind of miss those days, not gonna lie. The Kiwi, this is, this is the reference from the start of the video, but the Kiwi kids songs. I wish I could play them for you now, but some that come to mind like the individuality song and and the fish and chip song. If I remember, I'll try and link them down below. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go and listen to them because they were just, oh, so good. The old fashioned projectors. I put a photo in because like some younger people might not know what I'm talking about. But how you have like the projector and then you'd put the paper on and it would like project the image onto like the wall, like a normal projector, but you actually had to physically put the paper rather than just like clicking on a document. Oh my gosh, oh, I meant to get one of these to bring to put in the video. Strings. It's like how you get like, you like pull it out to arm's length and then you tie a knot in it, make like teacups and Eiffel Towers and like little things people like put their hand in and then you like do like the like stuck in jail thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're gonna think I'm actually losing the plot. Hand games. Here you guys. Okay, let's go. Okay. Lisa. <laughs> Warrior. Here. <laughs> Last year. O V E R. Are you gonna beat me? Are you gonna beat me? Are you gonna beat me? Over. A. Yeah, okay, moving on. Book bags, like the little bag that you get, and they have like the little zip pocket on the front, and then like the Velcro that like flips over, and you like put your books in it to take home for the night or the week to read or whatever. And then with that, you had like the seat bags, but I had, I remember I had like a blue one they had like flowers on it it was so ugly it was like the uh, like they had such ugly ones when i went into school i remember kids they had like cool parents their parents like make them like cool ones with cool fabric but anyway beside so the point it was like a little thing that slotted over like the back of your little tiny seat it had like your name across it so you could like see where your seat was actually now that i think about it that didn't make sense because when you're a new entrance you can't read so how would you know that it's, oh, uh, I guess you'd have a different pattern, but like, you wouldn't even be able to read your name on the back of your seat. What the heck is the point? No playing until you finished your lunch. I remember in primary school, I think we had like 15 or 20 minutes to eat our sandwiches and whatever, and the teacher would come around and make sure we ate our sandwiches. And I remember one time, I like didn't eat my sandwich, I just wanted to go play. So I like stood up when the bell went and I like ran like around the back of the classroom and the back door into like the cloak bay. My brother's friend, because my brother's like two years older than me, because he was like still in the junior school. My brother's friend like narked on me and oh my gosh, I was so scared but nothing happened so like it's fine. Title pages. Do I really need to say anything more? Wet day monitors. And I have a bit of a story time to go with this. So I actually got tagged in a thing today by my friend Devin. Devin, if you're watching, but basically, we were in primary school together, and we were in, so Devin's like my childhood best friend, and we were in um, year three together, so we're in the same classroom, and it was a wet lunchtime, and it was absolutely pouring down with rain, like, it was probably like torrential rain, and I'm pretty sure it was thunder and lightning too, because I remember some kids were crying. But anyway, beside the point, it was raining and then obviously the classroom was leaky because water came down and the <laughs> the computer, like the old dinosaur computers, it started smoking. And Devin like said to the wet day monitor, she's like, I don't think the computer's like supposed to be smoking. And then I think that the wet day monitor was like, oh no, like it's fine. And anyway, a long story short, I'm pretty sure the fire brigade came in and we got made to like go out of the classroom and to like evacuate. And it was like this big ordeal. <laughs> but yeah. That's my wet down monitor story. Juicies and moosies. I said juicies. My friends all said moosies. I was more of a juicy kid than a moosy kid, but like, you know, you got both. Jovies, the little tiny crayons that are like this big, like a little pencil pretty much, that always snapped. I don't really know their purpose because they didn't really do much colouring in either. They kind of sucked. But Jovies, yeah. The dental nurse, or more commonly referred to as the murder house. Um, yeah. School productions. Kapahaka. I personally can't say that I did kapahaka, but like I just feel, I feel like it's so cool that like in New Zealand schools we like, incorporate our culture into like school stuff. Choir, again, another thing that I didn't participate in. My friends were talking about today about all this stuff, like the little memories from choir and all the songs that I was singing. I was like, I can't relate. Photo day. I remember, oh my gosh, I wish I could put photos in for my photo day, but obviously like I'm wearing school uniform so I can't like expose myself. But like having like my hair like tied back in a ponytail so like I literally am just like all face and my forehead's like shining brighter than my future, probably like it is right now. 
yep mufti days they were just it was just so fun i know in some countries like if you're like on like a public school you're allowed to wear mufti all the time which if you don't know what that means it means you can wear whatever you want all the time to school but in new zealand basically all schools like public private all have uniforms and they have designated mufti days normally it's like a fundraising event so you bring in money for like a charity or whatever but yeah just being able to like wear mufti to school and be able to wear whatever you want was like oh, so good i feel like my go-to was like tights with shorts over the top and probably some cheesy ass shirt with like a flower on it and then some purple zip up jumper thing with like sifter sneakers from number one shoes. <laughs> the swan plants that used to get in class that had like the caterpillars and the chrysalises that turned into butterflies. I got yelled at in year three. Actually by the same kid that took my string with my bugger hat but anyway the swan plants we had like little caterpillars i got yelled at because i like pulled a caterpillar like it fell off the thing so i was like oh i'll just put it back on like the plant but you're not supposed to touch them because if you touch them they die so the caterpillar died now i feel kind of bad because i probably should have just left it and would have just made its own way back onto the plant swimming sports and athletics days swimming sports was just kind of sitting there freezing your ass off for the whole entire day and soaking wet togs and athletics day was like hay fever season, sunblock, and bucket hats. Where kids would like run, like in my school was like, the thing was like to run with your hands like this. Because apparently it made you run faster, like running like this and like yeah it makes you run faster. Like yeah, okay. School discos. The glow sticks and the cotton candy and the smoke machines. That was like so good. And the discos would start like 5.30 and finish like 6.30. You'd be like, yeah, I've been out, like out on a school night. And you still get in bed by like eight o'clock. And this is the last final point that I have, which I actually thought of just before, um, which is What Now on a Sunday morning. And I'm pretty sure What Now is still a thing. It used to be like a thing that we'd watch it like before we go to church on a Sunday morning. And the Hoover family, who we're like really close with as you if you've watched previous vlogs you'll know you would be very familiar with Cameron and Ryan but we used to um well they always used to like, ring up and like win like heaps of prizes and stuff I haven't watched it in a while actually maybe I should start doing that again anyway I don't know how long this video is going to be it's probably a little bit all over the place if you aren't familiar with any of these things it kind of gives you a little bit of an insight as to what New Zealand primary school was like in kind of like the time that I was in primary school and if you do relate to these things and you are kind of like my age and you are in year 13 or year 12 or whatever and you are getting a bit fed up with like exams and stuff, hopefully this is a bit of a breather for you to think back and be like, wow, like those were the good old days. If this is your first time seeing my face and you enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe because I would love to have you around here. And if you're not new here and this is not your first time seeing my face, first of all, thank you for coming back and second of all, also give this video a big thumbs up. And if you have anything to say, make it constructive, please. Make it nice. Feel free to comment it down below. And my socials are also always linked down below as well as you guys are always asking me questions. But make sure you read the description box before you start asking questions because often the answers are in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I don't think I have anything more to say. But I'll catch you guys in my... Oh, wait, no, I do have something more to say. Thank you so, so much for the response to my previous video. I know I didn't upload last week, but the week before that, your guys' response to my morning routine has been absolutely insane. I think it's sitting now at like 120,000 views, which is like ridiculous. But I'm like, <sighs> yeah, okay, it's fine, it's fine. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, but it's okay, you guys are amazing. I'll catch you guys in my video next week. Make someone smile and have a good week. I'll see you later. Grind. I have these little thingies flying across the screen. Fish and chips. Yeah. Okay. That's bringing back very vivid memories.